I'm Steve Donahue. I'm the president of Delamo Construction. It's great to be involved with Caltech. It's exciting to be a part of the team that, that builds this LEED Platinum uh, physical science building to create a chassis for these scientists to accomplish their, their life's goals, which is create a more sustainable planet. The LEED Green Building Rating System um, stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It was created by the United States Green Building Council in 1993 as a way to define and measure green buildings. The prerequisites and credits for the LEED rating system can be categorized into seven categories, the first being sustainable sites. I always felt that one of the biggest statements about sustainability of this project was the decision by Caltech to reuse this existing building. The option to reuse the building was actually a more expensive option, but it was a much more sustainable way to do it. In this project, we have two different kinds of rainwater capture systems. We capture all of the roof uh, drains. They actually go into the thermal water storage tank. That water is then filtered and used to flush toilets. And we also have a rainwater capture system that captures all of the site water runoff. And that water is used to uh, provide all the irrigation for the landscaping on the project. We used all bamboo cabinetry in the building. We used an extensive amount of cork flooring, Anything, any building product that we could come up with which was made from a sustainable product or from a recycled product, they wanted incorporated into the project. The celiostat um, draws in natural light from the exterior of the building and bounces them down a shaft into the interior laboratories and offices as well as power um, solar fiber optic lighting fixtures. One of the things that the university did was to install a Bloom Energy cell. It's uh, powered by natural gas. It actually provides 10 kilowatts of power and it provides power to the whole campus. The glass that you, you see here on this wall here is called switch light glass. It is a privacy glass. It's part of the daylighting design of the building, drawing in natural ambient light, having that light filter in through the common areas so you can use less artificial lighting. One of the systems that was installed in the building is an air acuity air monitoring system. The purpose of this system is to measure the atmosphere within the laboratory buildings. If the laboratory is not being occupied, it will ramp down the amount of air changes in the building. Once the laboratory is occupied, it will increase the air changes. And if there happened to be a spill in the laboratory of a toxic chemical, then it will increase it even further but varying the air changes in, within the laboratory buildings is a much more energy efficient way to deal with the building exhaust system. Regional priority means that all the building materials need to be sourced in a 500 mile radius of the project site to the greatest extent possible. One of the major concepts of why we should implement LEED is that construction has a big environmental impact. The users in this building are on the cutting edge research of climate change and their mandate was that they wanted the most energy efficient and sustainable building possible. My name is John Onderdonk, I'm the manager for sustainability programs here at Caltech. I think one of the highlights of this particular project is the fact that the, the researchers saw the energy efficiency that was being integrated into the building and realized that the equipment in the laboratories was a key part of that. They reached out then to the equipment manufacturers and through that conversation, the equipment manufacturers were able, able to retool uh, their laboratory equipment to make it more energy efficient for this building. I've always felt that this project was LEED Platinum++ plus plus, um, because there were so many points that we could have had that don't fit into the, the point system for LEED. We did a lot of innovation and design. The, everything that was involved with the solar telescope, we couldn't do as a point because one of the innovations and design's requirements is that it has to be repeatable. And nobody's going to build a solar telescope just so they can bring some daylighting into their building. A lot of people have asked me why LEED, why, why implement LEED on a construction project. I think that it's become uh, the convention in our industry. I think that morally it's the right thing to do and I think that the whole LEED movement has really started to modify um, kind of the social fabric of our industry and that in the near future it's just going to become the norm. I feel that the completion of the Robinson projects just brings Delamo Construction to the next level. Not only in historic preservation, but a LEED Platinum building for the Center for Global Environmental Studies uh, doesn't get any greener than that. Uh, it gives us a tremendous amount of experience. 
And on top of that, we've built some cutting edge labs in this, in this facility that also put us uniquely positioned to do laboratory work and to combine the unique laboratories and the green aspects and the historical aspects. I think that's a unique combination and a service that not many contractors can offer. This project uh, presented a lot of opportunities for growth. There were challenges almost daily and uh, meeting these challenges with our very capable teammates for over two years I think made us evolve in really great ways and we're looking forward to our next challenge. Thank you.